We'll go ahead and get started. First question, Adam Spolin. Hey, Sean, as someone who's been here the entire season, what did this win mean to, to you? Um, you know, it meant, it meant a lot to, you know, come out here for our last home game, and, you know, see a pretty decent crowd one, and uh, to be able to get a win. Um, it's been rare we come across those this year. So, you know, to be able to finish up out with a W at home, um, it feels good. It, it looked like in the fourth quarter, you got banged up a little bit. Was there any way that you were going to come out of the game? Uh, yeah, I got subbed out. I was okay. I mean, first, it just, uh, I was moving too fast. He actually read me right. Uh, I tried to go right instead of left, and he, he, he beat me to the spot. So, Adam Wexler. Hey, Jay, Sean. Coach Silas mentioned that, that the owner, Tillman Fertitta, came into the locker room after the game and had a few words for you guys after the win. What would that mean to you? What did you think of what he had to say to you guys? Yeah, um, you know, I, I think that's really special. Um, you know, uh, for you know, the owner of the team to come down and, you know, speak to us uh, on the last game of the season with guys that haven't even, you know, been here throughout the season, you know, but, you know, he thanked us and he's, he, he's seen the effort we've been putting in the last couple of months. And um, that, that's big, you know, when, you know, the owner, um, the guy who, who pays you is still paying attention and knows you guys' names like that. That's big time. Ali Khan Hey, Jay, Sean, I know we just recently talked to you about your shooting and you come out tonight, have uh, three to five shooting from three, but I just wanted to ask you from where you started in the early part of the season till now, where have you made the biggest strides in terms of your shot mechanically? Have you made changes? I know you've, you've been mentioning you've talked to, or been working with John Lucas, but what in particular have you worked on to, um, this season? Um, you know, for me, I think the biggest thing for me is just being confident not thinking uh, too much. You know, when I think too much, I try to make everything tight and focus on the follow through. Whereas, you know, when I'm hitting, I'm just out there playing free and I'm shooting. Um, and, you know, it's been the last couple of games and, you know, they just give me the confidence to just go out there and let it fly. You know, um, you know, don't worry about anything else. Just try to, you know, go out there and feel it and, you know, being a basketball player, you, you see one go in, the next one feels even better. You see that one goes in, the next one feels even better. So um, that's just what it is. It's going to be spurts. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be another stint where I, you know, go 0 for 6. Um, but, you know, it'll always come out, turn around if you play the numbers. Brian Bearfield. Jay Sean, this is the last home game here. And I know that there's been limited uh, home attendance as far as the fans are concerned. But, you know, how does it feel to have so much support from the fans and being welcome here? Yeah, I mean, that, that's big time um, to go from an organization that's, you know, in the playoffs, what was it, eight years in a row? Something something like that to, you know, dead last and just to look up and see them still cheering us on, seeing them still be a part of uh, different things after the game, social media night, um, you know, the fan support on Twitter. Um, you know, this, the city has love for, for the Rockets and, you know, to be a part of that. I mean, I love it. Thank you, Jay Sean. Have a good night. You too.